everybody, thanks for joining me for my live. That was so fun to have you have you there and so many of you. This is what happened. After we finished the live, it prompts you to upload and somehow the app crashed. So since I said I'd share with you how to be able to do my tutorial that I posted on YouTube yesterday on getting your Alaset cone in your socket and finding that ideal placement for it, I thought, well, I owe it to you to just film it now without my live. So you can see, in case you didn't make it, what I was doing. So what I'm going to do is just demonstrate how you can find the leg in the proper position for yourself on your own, since you don't have a teacher like me um, holding a student's leg, your leg. Okay, so if you don't have a fit ball like this, you can easily use a rolling office chair. The idea is that you need something that provides some instability for the leg that's going to go up in the air on all the sick home. So I'm going to go ahead and place my leg on the ball. And of course, we're not working on height. We're working on where is the leg inside that pelvis. So first of all, I have to remember my tutorial on neutral pelvis. We roll the hips back. We're going to be sticking out your pelvis. We roll too far forward. We're tucking and then we're buckling at the knees. So we cannot do all this at home tucked. We cannot do it sway backed. We have to be in neutral pelvis on the standing side. Well, guess what? That also applies to the leg. So the problem is, if you get your leg out of alignment right now, I'm basically released in my pelvis like a sway back. I cannot access my turnout. So you're gonna probably have your all this at home slightly in front of you. Ideally, in training professional students, they're trying to work for that perfect turnout. Majority of us mere humans are sinking it slightly forward, right? So just take your unstable element and draw it in and out and kind of find that little track of where that is. And you're welcome to hold on to something. And as you feel more stable, do it without holding on to something. What do you want to watch out for? You don't lead with the knee forward. You don't want to leave it the hip up. You want to just find that little slot where your leg is comfortable within the socket. So in the video, I took the girl's leg and then I, I had her totally release her weight into my hand. It was more like this. And we were going for that flat look of this line. You could see it across her pink tights, that turnout. So if I was to go to Ecarte, or you will if you're following along with me. Put your foot on your unstable element, <laughs> your fit ball or your chair, and just feel this turnout going. I almost, as I initiate, this is on, I'm folding that knee open. You can go to a full pointed foot and go through the foot. That would be the PBT way because we want the foot to go over the curvature of the ball and stand tall four, five, six, seven, eight. In PBT, we do things like over combre and up, and you can go side, those are variations. Now notice when I go side, if you go side and you tilt your pelvis, you're gonna lose that socket. So be sure you keep that rotation in the socket, but again, you have to know where that is. You have to find that. And I think going into attitude on something unstable or getting your teacher to hold your leg, or a friend when you're back in person is a good way to find it because from there you should be able to lift your leg without disrupting your pelvis and work next towards higher extension let me show you one more thing on the floor that used to be done in just a classic floor bar but now in progressing ballet technique we do it with the addition of a ball it's one of my favorite exercises all right so this is one of the Usually, we used to do this in floor bar without a ball. <laughs> so I'm taking a small Pilates ball, nine inch. There we go. And I'm going to roll it up and again, turn that hip socket out. The bottom leg must be turned out. You can do it on forced arch or you could point it, but the bad, the wrong way is turning that in and just going up like this. This cannot be that way. Your heel must be pointing to the ceiling. All right, so try that again. And again, I could pick the ball up because I'm using my adductors and my obliques, which is so, so important. Ball is a cone. Okay. 
10, starting from the beginning, get that core on, hips level, rotators on, rotate the bottom leg, obliques ready. And one, two, three, high three quarter, point those toes, seven, reach it tall, and down, two, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, reach to the ball, six, seven, Eight. Sometimes we use a big ball, it's a little easier to reach. And up to all the come. Up, reach, reach. I'm stretching both legs. Keep turning this one forward, turning it out. Fold it in and bring it back down. And repeat, repeat, repeat. So it goes one, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. One, two, three, four four, touch, six, seven. I'm hiking my knee up, rotating, lift, 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 stretch, and retire, back down. From there, we often go on our back and lift up, and we do an oblique twist, which we certainly need for all the home extensions. The next one, we're going to go behind a bar or a chair. Take your small ball again. So the theme of PBT is to shape your foot and not work on in a way of sickling or beveling. So the ball is providing that nice waterfall feeling. That's how I feel it, of up and over. With the legs set in the socket, I do plie, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rise, one, two, three, four. And you could jump here or you could elevate again. Now the thing is, if the leg would come out of the socket, the ball would start running away from me, <laughs> right? You have to lift up strong on the side, feel the hip into the socket, it's not high. And even when it's not high, we can still lose that rotation, right? And press, lift to lower, up, bump drop, but lift up to come down and plie and finish. It's the same feeling when you're on the bar. You don't have your weight over here. The leg is always into the socket. The true test is can you lift the leg up? You don't have to do the adjustment. You know you're in your socket. All right. Well, thanks everyone for hanging in and letting me share this tip for all the sitcom with you that you can do on your own.